does documentation really help as a lawyer you know probably absolutely absolutely and what vasudha ji has said is bang on girls today are much more alert they are using technology to sort of uh, create a trail and i won't call it documentation but create a trail and and, and have the sort of uh, you know evidences that are needed they are very i'll give you and i'll give you an example of a case but before that i will step back a little you know where the problem comes many girls or many women and i will talk about two um, age groups i will talk about the age group of 40 to 30 or rather 45 to 30 who are still in that transition stage who have a lot of their old thought process and are trying to grapple with the new thought process and the age group of 18 to 30 which is a much newer uh, you know uh, uh, girls with a uh, more radical thought and high better imagination and more adept with technology and who've probably gone there and explored life a little so th- these girls are you know smart enough they know what the smartphone is uh, is a huge resource in their hands and they know how to sort of uh, get evidences how to uh, ensure that they have something like your whatsapp messages you know. but the 30 to 45 50 is still suffering you know they 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 are not so adept at all this so this this lot is still having a problem and usually what happens when the problem doesn't start later problem starts initially itself the moment a woman comes into her marital home she sort of gives up on everything so the man takes charge of the finances takes charge of the account she doesn't even know and you believe me when i say that i'm talking about very well educated girls ladies who say i've never been to the bank i've never had to do this now i have to do this i don't know how to handle it they have they just give up it's like you know now i'm i'm just going to you know wear nice clothes look nice go out to my kitties i'll do this i'll do that but no knowledge whatsoever about the other important um, nuances of living and when you have given up on that you have cut your ability to take a decision to half because your every decision that is being taken is a yes decision you cannot say no it is your husband's decision or the uh, you know the larger ecosystem there that takes the decision and it's very rarely very few women can then say no those women who say no will not have a problem but the women women who never say no is where they have a problem because when they do come to a break point and unfortunately that point of break is terrible when they come to that point they know nothing so they they are totally at a loss they are starting right from banking you know uh, dealing with their own account they don't even know how to get their statement and see really where has the money gone so so documentation i would say comes much later first you have to learn to uh, you know first understand marriage is not the end of living you have not attained nirvana just because you've got married marriage is the starting of a relationship where two partners should come together and respect one another most important thing love and everything at all i would say flies out of the window on the fourth or the fifth day of marriage it is about respect if you cannot respect one another for what they are then this marriage will not last you know another 5 6 years it will break apart so it's about respect and respect should be allowing one another their space and allowing space should be should also mean allowing one another to know what they want to do with what they have you should not i'm not saying that you do what you want you should know that you would like to do something but confer come to a mutual understanding and then do it or not do it it should be a call that you take after taking your own decision with your partner with the people involved in the ecosystem uh, right so right. this itself this one limb is completely cut off when women just come in and they give up charge of their lives i'm not saying have charge on other people's lives don't control anybody that's not right no don't even you don't have to lose control right so so that is where the bigger problem happens second to your point what you mean by documentation as i am understanding creating proofs and evidences that comes much later when things have soured right so you let it come to that point when things start souring because you've completely given up control and now you have to make your evidences so yes today women are much smarter i'll give you an example 
I do a lot of sexual harassment at workplace cases. And there was this young girl, very young girl. She must have been 23, 24. She joined as a trainee in an organization. And her boss, super boss, was trying to uh, suggest to her that, you know, I'm going to go for an outing, work outing. You join me as well and tried telling her this has happened before, etc., etc. That girl would con converse with him. After a point, you know, she was very scared initially. I'm talking to a senior. How can I? But then she realized there was no way getting out of it. So she started recording his. She would actually speak to him get him to uh, uh, you know actually accept that this is what he wants and she recorded everything and promptly sent it to the complaints committee right so she was a smart girl she had the resource she had the presence of mind she realized that just by listening to him it's not going to get, get her anywhere initially first few times she was very scared she would tell her friends i don't want to go with him i don't want to go to the uh, offside this and that but then she realized she has to survive in this organization so it's survival of the fittest right we are in that uh, at the end of the day everywhere it's survival of the fittest it's not just in the jungle so the, her fitness was never to be the senior but her fitness was her presence of mind and she got it she made sure that man left and she continues to work in that organization so what i'm trying to say is that yes to what vasudaji said today women are much much better equipped to have the proof to make the proof to sort of put it all together and women are doing it but not all women are still doing it women who have let go see i always say one thing there are the laws there is protection there are remedies but are the needy getting it no, not all women who need it are getting. There are women who don't need it who are abusing it, which unfortunately results in the system getting clogged. By the, there are too many cases and, you know, they know these women, they have the resources to get that kind of legal support where you can go into the loopholes and play with the loopholes and keep matters pending for seven years, ten years. Take the in-laws to the police station for domestic violence when they have never even done. And this happens some 15 years down the line in their marriage, you know, when they are suddenly they realize they want to walk out of the marriage. There is that also going on. We cannot close our eyes to that, right? So the, the uh, I would say the, the essence of this is don't lose control of your life at any stage of your marriage. Marriage is not meant for, uh, it's not a power dynamics. It is not one man controlling the other, the woman or a woman controlling the man. It is a, a beautiful relationship about two people coming together. So don't lose yourself, don't lose control of your life, become uh, in union in the true sense. And of course, stay smart, stay alert and use technology to your, um, uh, you know, to the best possible. Okay. Courts are looking at, as Vasudaji rightly said, WhatsApp messages, etc. are in fact now notices can be served on WhatsApp as well in the COVID times. So there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, due given to technology today and keep that in mind and make documentation wherever needed.